Right, first question can go to you. You'll probably lose because there's more girls, stupid girls on this side. Oh. Right, ignore them, girls. You have been invited to tea at your granny's house, and halfway through the meal, you discover on your plate a half eaten slug. <laughs> now, do you A, scream in horror, B, push the plate away and stop eating, or C, carry on eating as if nothing has happened? <laughs> difficult question, isn't it? Right. What's your answer? We scream in horror. What? We'll give it a try after three. One, two, three. Oh! Pathetic. Oh, look, anyway, it takes the slugs away. Anyway, that's the wrong answer. Oh. Because being polite, you should pass the slug around so everybody can have a taste. Oh. <laughs> right, now, question two goes to the Nolans over here. Right. Uh, another question on good manners. Supposing Billy Butler came to your house for dinner. Right, would you A, sit him on your left hand, B, sit him on your right hand, or C, put him at the head of the table? Now you may confer on that. Oh, <laughs> what would you do? A, put him at the head of the table. Wrong, wrong again! You wouldn't let him in, would you? <laughs> well, I wouldn't let him in anyway. So, that's. 10,000 points to this side, 5,000 points to that yeah. side, and 15,000 points to the chairman. Oh. <laughs> now, what? Well, right, now, here now is a musical question. I want, you to this, I want you to listen to this load of rubbish, both of you, and the first person to tell me what it is gets an extra 15,000 points. After three, one, two, four. Vera Lynn, nearly, nearly. Any others? Any others? De Des O'Connor. Nearly, nearly, very like Des O'Connor. Malcolm and Wise. Yeah, yeah, almost, almost. In fact, it was it was both the Nolan's record and the Dooley's record played at once. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another 20 points to me, and I'm winning so far. What's the score, Quiz Master? Score Masteress? What? Why not? I'm doing it fairly. Hey, of course I'm doing it fairly. It's a nasty tweet. You're enjoying it today, aren't you? Yeah, right, yeah, right. Robert right. Robinson. Now, or let's Bamba have one Gascoigne. for the stupid girls over here. I bet they can't get this one. What is the capital of Great Britain? And it's a trick question. I warn you, it's a trick question. What is the capital of Great Britain? Obvious, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Dublin. Trick question. What? Dublin. <laughs> right, well, we'll offer it over the then. We'll take 20,000 points away from you and offer it to this side. What is a trick question? What is the capital of Great Britain? Oldham. Oldham? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Go and shout in that microphone. Give him a bit of help. Shout. Uh, what do you think it is, kids? Nasty. Mr. Nasty. What? Eh? London. No, that's the wrong answer. In fact, the right answer is wrong because this was a trick question. Another 50 points to the chairman. Right, here I am. Now, here's a question now uh, on, on travel, right? Who wants this one? You can have this one because you did so awfully in the last one. Now, you, day trip from the fun factory to London. Now, suddenly you're on the train and at the windows, being stupid girls, you see the South Seas. Oh, you, no, you see mountains and you see hills and tropical beaches and all that sort of thing. Where are you? Wigan. Hey. What? Wigan. Wigan. Good answer, Wigan. In fact, you're on the wrong train. <laughs> so, nasty the world's greatest arguer has won yet again, and there's the gong, there's the gong. So I win the prize, I shall go and collect it later. In the meantime, I'm going to try and get rid of Martin Day yet again, so we'll boot him out of the...